Yo, yo, it's Yurk, and today I'm going to show you guys how you guys can make a vault opening sequence in UEFN. And basically, it's going to look like this. So you're going to have exactly like the agency vaults, but you're actually going to see the animation play of the vault door opening, and you can hear the visual or the audio cue. So let's get started on how we're going to do this. So to start, we're going to need a few things. First of which is going to be the Fortilla vault prop now you want the door closed prop specifically so go ahead and go to your content drawers and just search up for the fortilla uh, bank vault and then drop it into your project next we're going to need the key card scanner thing like the little prop that goes there to open the door so to do that we're just going to again search up key card and we are going to drag and drop the key card into our project Then we're going to need uh, the key. Where is it? There it is. Okay, so we're going to need a key. So to, we're going to just drag and drop a key and it'll automatically make us an item spawner. And if we just drag and drop it into the project, we don't have to like pull out an item spawner and do it first. You can just drag, drop the key and you're good to go there. Then we're going to need a conditional button. So we're going to search for a conditional button. Drop that into our project. And finally, we're going to need a cinematic sequence device. So search for the cinematic sequence in your devices, and then go ahead and drag and drop into the project. Great. So now we're also going to need to build out a place where we can like, like our actual vault layer, like the place where it's going to be. So go ahead and build your own. And we're also going to need this audio cue and I'll have a link to where you can download this down in the description, but I'll, I'll show you how to actually import that later. But you guys may or may not want to just go download that now. Next in our content drawer, we're going to right click and you got to make sure that you're in your project's content drawer. And then you're going to click animation level sequence create and that'll create you a new sequence we're going to name it uh, my vault opening sequence click ok and there's that now we're going to drag and move our vault prop to where we our vault door is actually going to be so just line it up and place it right there perfect once it's in the spot that we want, we can also move over our key card. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to open up our sequence device. So we're going to just double click on it and it's going to take us into the sequence editor. Now from here, we're just going to drag and drop our vault door into our level sequence. And then over here on the details page, you'll see that there's like these different components of this vault door. We're going to go all the way down to the bottom to the very, the static mesh. That's the the door itself not the opening just the door itself and we're going to click this little icon right here and that's going to add a keyframe for this selected actor perfect so now we're in our sequencer and what we're going to do is we're going to click on track but we don't want to click on the vault open door we want to make sure we're on the vault door mesh plus track and we're going to add a transform track perfect so now from here what we're going to do is we are going to just click on our transform track and we're gonna click this little circle and that's gonna add the keyframe at the very beginning of our sequence. Perfect, so now we should have like these three little dots here and we're gonna move to the end of our sequence. And we're just going to, once we get to the end, we're just going to click E, which is our rotate key. And then we are going to rotate the door so that way it's open. And this is gonna be at the very end. So we wanna open it all the way and then we're just gonna let go and we're going to come down here again to the transform track and we're just going to click on the little circle dot keyframe button again like that perfect so now if we go back to the very beginning we should have a slow door opening sequence that looks something like this which is so cool by the way like look at this and tell me that's not awesome then we're going to go up here and we're going to click save if everything looks good. It's always a good practice to save your project. Then we're going to go down and we're going to click on audio track. 
but we need an audio track first. So we're actually going to go and we're going to import it. So we're going to click import. We're going to find the file, which you can download link in the, in the description. Click open. Then we're going to go down to our sequencer, click audio track, add it. And then we're going to click add. And then we're going to search for the vault audio cue that we just imported. Click that and then it might put it over on the outside, but just drag it into where it goes. And then notice about where the sound stops. We're going to find that. We're going to pause. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to select our three keyframes at the end of our sequence. And we're going to move those to that where the sound stops because that's going to be where the door stops and it's open now. Perfect. Then you can take this little red line and this is just extra time after our sequence. So we can just drag that back to the end. And now we're going to go ahead and watch it back. Super, super cool. So that's going to be our sequence itself. Now we're going to click save. And now it's time to set up the conditional button and make all of this function when we want it to. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our conditional button and we're going to search for the key and we're going to just drag and drop the key into the item uh, slot for it. Then we're just going to, again, either pull out your key or if you've already placed it down, your item spawner with your key. And then we're going to go ahead and move our conditional button over and we're going to line it up so it lines up perfectly with that screen. Then we're just going to pull out our, our cinematic sequence device and we're going to drag and drop our my vault sequence into the sequencer and then we're going to come down and we're going to click play we want to play this function when the conditional button activates so when a player gives the conditional button the key it's going to activate and we're going to just use this little eyedropper to select that conditional button and when it activates we want it to play the function so then we're going to push our changes and now we wait Sometimes this will take a little while, but bear with it. And once it's, once you see this screen and the edit session is loading, you're pretty much done here. And now it's just time to actually test it out. So let's go ahead and start the game. Once the game starts, you'll be able to go over to your item spawner. You have to wait a couple seconds if you didn't change any settings, but grab your key. As soon as it appears, bam, now we can run over and we can take our key over to our vault and we can uh, go up to the conditional button and we're going to give it our key card or our key. We have the key. It takes the key. Door starts opening and you have this awesome audio cue and this really cool visual effect. It looks just like the ones in Battle Royale. Tell me that's not awesome. And you can have more than one of these in a single map. It's all works and everything. That's how you guys are going to make the agency vaults in Fortnite Creative, UEFN, 2.0, whatever you want to call it. Thank you all so much for watching. If this helped you out, drop a like, hit subscribe, do whatever you want to do and all that stuff. And as always, stay up.